Welcome back, plungers. If it's your first time, thanks for joining and lock in because we're about to give you some tips. I hope I'm not too late. I had to take a little break last week. I had a visitor. If you can check my stories, you'll see who it was. I had her for about a week, so now we're back to work. So we're going to start this episode off with the trial. For the trial, I used the, 1990s, the 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. Of note is that this race is an off-road uh, rally type race. So when I did the race, most of the people that were in the race had the wrong setup for their cars, so they bowed out of the race. And this is a good thing. So even if you don't finish first place in the first race or in the top five in the first race, don't worry about it. If people aren't hip to the game, a lot of those people are going to bow out of the race, and then you'll have a much better chance of winning the race. The best chance you have of winning the series is if nobody is in it, everybody bows out after the first race, and you go on and you take all the points for yourself because you get 100 points for every car you pass. If the AI cannot pass more than your car, they won't get any points. So you have to pass at least three or four cars to beat first place because first place will come in first and he'll get the points for coming in first. And I think that's 150 points. So you just probably have to pass two or three cars in the race on the second two races to win the series or something like that. You might have to come in seventh or sixth at the very least to win the series if you even come in last in the first race or something like that. Like the math is it works in your favor, but you won't have to excel in the race if people bow out. And this is very likely for this series because people don't know that it's a dirt series. So I picked a car that is not necessarily the car that you want to use for this race, but I tuned it so good that it becomes a sleeper and I end up destroying everybody in the trial. So, uh, yep, enjoy the rest of it. Next up, we have the Forzathon Weekly Challenge called Double Numbers This Week. You have to own and drive the Chevrolet Chevelle Super Sport 454 from 1970. You have to get, oh, you have to drive it. You have to get 10 ultimate wreckage skills in this field. And I see in the group that people are having a little bit of trouble with this. Basically, just go in the field and knock down as many of the, the mini trees as you can. Um, in between gaps of trees, try to hit a drift or something to keep the chain going. So when you hit the next tree, it boosts what you had from the previous tree. And that's just my tip. And then the rest of it is fairly easy and uh, self-explanatory. So good luck with this one.
For this portion, you have to earn three stars at any speed zone. For me, the best speed zone is the highway. And full disclosure, I tune the cars for the challenge, the weekly challenge beforehand. I fully upgrade it. So if there's a speed zone I need to hit, I can get it with no problem. There's no rules against tuning the car. Even though it may tell you, oh, the car has 250 horsepower and it has a top speed of 167 miles an hour and blah, 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 blah. Tune it. <laughs> You'll beat all those times easily. So I tuned it, the Chevelle, and I hit the highway. So I go down once in case I didn't get all three stars. I come back the other way, hit it, boom, easy. For this final part, you get this 1967 Peel P50. Find somewhere, hit some drifts in it. I tuned it, as usual, and I hit these drifts so I could go find this treasure. Once you find the treasure, that's your 20 points. And you're out. Congratulations. <laughs>